hey you guys welcome back to my video in this video we're going to be doing one concept three different designs so today's concept is going to be sonoro um characters um the first one you just seen was going to be karomi and then i have cinnamon roll and then i have pumperoon as well um pumperoon was my favorite sonoro character you really don't see a lot of male inspirations from him um so i thought i would incorporate him as well and we're going to be doing very demure very mindful uh junk nails so this is pepperoni and we're going to go ahead and jump right in um the first set that i'm going to do is cinnamon roll cinnamon roll has a new shape um these shape is going to be available on my sd store um these are duck nail tips and i do have these available for you guys um i think i currently have them priced at 25 dollars <coughs> excuse me for a press on kit um so right now i am just going to go ahead and go in with my second layer of nude um gel polish and i'm using orgasms um nude gel and then i am going to go ahead and go in with a periwinkle blue and i think this one is from beetles and then i have a glittery blue um from beetles as well um so i'm going to let you guys just watch the design and watch me work kind of and then i'll be jumping in and out the video So I think I'm going to stick with the one concept three designs videos for my SD store. I'm actually kind of digging it a little bit. It's forcing me to actually work a little bit more on nail art and then keep up with trends as well. Um, so anytime I have a video available for you guys, then those sets are going to be available on my SD store. As always, I will have a link for you down below. Anything I use in the video, I have a link for it in the description box. Um, and then I'll have a discount code. Um, for a cinema roll, we're going to go ahead and do the French nails. And these are just simple French nails. I really try not to think too hard when I'm doing French um, because they can take a long time. So I just keep it really simple so it doesn't take me a while um, to do French. Um, so I'm going to do three nails that are going to be French, which is the thumb. And then um, the ring finger. And then, uh, I'm sorry, the index finger and the middle finger are going to be um, French nails. I actually do not do a lot of kawaii um, nail sets because I think, especially with junk nails, um, because I think they could come off a little bit tacky and I honestly don't like them because of that. So for me, if I knew if I was going to do them, um, I had to be very, very mindful of how I was going to do it. Um, so they'll be more wearable and a little bit more cohesive because like I said, for the most part, I don't honestly like junk nails. I think they look very tacky. So for me, it was fun coming up with the way that I actually like them and I can offer the, um, that look to my customers as well. The gems that I'm using, I did purchase these off of Amazon. As always, you guys know, this is not a sponsored video. This is sponsored from my bank account. So anything I use in the video, I have a link for you guys down below. And these are re recent purchases. Um, so I have a lot of nail charms that I need to try to use. And so that's why I decided uh, that I was going to do junk nails. I think my next one, I'm going to do possibly rhinestones because I do want to work on my rhinestone placement with nails. So I think that's going to be my next uh, three, uh, one concept uh three different designs look that's going to be coming up for you guys
So I'm going to go ahead and put these in my nail display. When I'm done, I always um, go ahead and display my nails and take pictures of them so I can upload them on my SD shop immediately after I'm done. Um, I typically will take pictures and then I'll go ahead and post them on my SD shop. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Purple Room. Purple Room is actually really fun to do. I did have to look on, I think, Pinterest a little bit to try to find inspiration for him. So for Pumper Rune, I always see typically like um, yellow and brown tones with him. And then I see that he actually has like, sometimes I see him with chocolate thing. So I decide to keep him really fun and interesting. And I'm going to do these on, um, I think these are almond. No, these are uh, small coffin uh, nails. So those are available for you guys if you don't like long coffin. I do have medium coffin nails available. So we're going to go ahead and start with a thin layer of base gel. I always do a thin layer of base gel for all my coffin nails to make them very sturdy. And depending on the length, I will go in with two layers. So for this, I did go in with the extra layer off camera. And so I'm going to go ahead and start applying. And I do um, cure the lamp for 30 seconds between each layer.
So purple one is done, and we're gonna go ahead and go with Karomi. Karomi, I kept her pretty simple. Um, I did do two French nails. One was the thumb, and one was the pinky. And that's what I'm working on now. And I did a uh, two layers of new gel polish. I just picked a random color to do uh, for Karomi, and I'm keeping her with her theme, which is purple and black, and just making that her theme for this set. That color that I'm applying now, it is a glitter gel polish from Beatles. I'm not sure from which kit it came from. I think it came from a Halloween kit I purchased last year. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and apply two layers and then cure in the lint for 30 seconds. So if anybody knows where that came from, very demure, very mindful saying came from, please put a link in my comment section uh, so I can go to the original video because I'm trying to figure out where that came from. And if you want to piss a Gen Z kid off, say very demure and very mindful over and over again and use it in the wrong way. Oh my God, they get so mad because I've been irritating my daughter's whole soul uh, by using the word incorrect just for shits and giggles. And if I haven't said it before, I will say it again. Um, again, these are going to be available on my SD shop immediately um, once this is posted. So I have a link for my SD shop in the description, as well as a discount code for you guys as well. And now sometimes, depending on how I feel, if you place the order, I may include a free uh, display set if I have it available in your nail size. I do actually have more content coming up. I know um, I do have an unboxing I need to get through. Again, not a sponsored video. It's sponsored by my bank account. And I actually have a foodie set, a nail set that I want to do as well. Um, so that's going to be coming up. And then at some point, I am going to have to force myself um, to at least try to get some fall um, personal nails on my page. On my, in my SC shop, excuse me, and then also on my YouTube channel. Um, so that's going to be coming a few guys, which is fall and Halloween looks.
So we are done and I went ahead and took pictures. This is everything that you receive in a Kim's nail press on kit. Um, you'll receive your nails and then you'll receive a um, prep kit as well. And then we're going to go ahead and open everything that you receive in a prep kit. You will receive a free gift, which is a, a cuticle oil and nail nippers. And you do get an orange stick and two alcohol pads as well as nail glue a buffer and a nail file and then you also get instructions on how to prep as well This is the end result. Let me guys know what you think in the comment section. As always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as well. As always, I love you guys. Be kind to each other and I will see you on my next one.